So what did you think of Danny Cohn-Bendit's call for uh, Barroso to not to be reappointed as commission president? It's fairly hard hitting. I suppose the message that the Greens are trying to get across is that we can't have more of the same. We're in an international crisis and, and there have been changes of regime in the United States uh, with, with Barack Obama taking over from Bush uh, and then the governments of Europe have been responsible for what we're experiencing economically as much as anything else. The European Commission bear a responsibility for that and to reappoint the same commission uh, and the same president of the commission isn't really dealing with the problems that we have to face. Yeah, I must say I agree. I'm not sure how successful we'll be. We'll obviously need other political groupings to support us in the European Parliament but the socialist grouping will be interesting and in what they decide to do. It looks like they're supporting Barroso at the moment but I think they have to be imaginative. I think they're talking about former prime ministers. They're talking about Rasmussen in, in, in uh, Denmark. They're talking about uh, uh, the possibility of uh, maybe An Angela Merkel if she doesn't uh, win the election in Germany. But I, I think someone who, who's performed very well in the past is someone like uh, Margaret Wallström from Sweden. Very good on the environment, very good on in explaining Europe. Why not someone like that as president of the European Commission? Blonde and easy on the eye as well, well you know. Well. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, very good. And what about the Green New Deal, Dan? Did you think that what you heard today made sense? You're our economic spokesperson. I must say, I was really uh, taken by this idea that if Europe doesn't move and try to gain sort of first mover advantage on the whole, um, on building a green economy, that we're actually going to fall behind in competitive terms, yeah. the US, China, South Korea. Well, I suppose this is what puts us apart from the other political groupings here in the European Parliament. Uh, Someone like Angela Merkel, again, doesn't want this idea of a stimulus to the European economy. And if you're going to stimulate, you have to use the, the Green New Idea as part of that, that springboard. I mean, we're, we're the people who are saying there are different ways of doing things. If we invest in particular ways in, in, in renewable energy and the technologies that bring about renewable energy, that will be the, the economic impetus we need to the future. And it will take us away from the things that have failed our economies in the past. And the other thing I noticed was that Lisbon wasn't mentioned at all during the... And, and that was something that preoccupied not just the European Greens, but I suppose uh, the European Parliament generally a few months ago. So it's, it's interesting that it didn't come up at all. Well, I, I think everyone else has decided that they've made their decision on Lisbon. It's strangely enough only us and the Czechs, and the Czechs have their own difficulties in the recent few days. Uh, also a government that the Green Party is involved in. Uh, and uh, I think we have to make sure that there is a declaration in Ireland and whenever there's a referendum, it's, it's something the Irish people are prepared to accept but even after that we don't know what the Czech Republic is likely to do. So really very uncertain a couple of well, months ahead? It, it, it's uncertain to the extent that we don't know what's going to happen with Lisbon but first of all we have to make sure that the European Parliament has as, as many Greens as possible and our challenge is to make sure that there are Irish Greens there. That's right let's get our two Green seats back I mean we had two between 1994 and 2004 lost them in 2004 so I think the onus is on us now to get them back again. There, but for the will of the Irish people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>